Hi and welcome to the presentation of our pictorial on crafting on skin interfaces and embodied prototyping journey. This work has been developed uh, at the uh, Eindhoven University of Technology together with the Dutch Organization for the Scientific Research and uh, national and local partners from the industry and the academy. It has been an increasing attention from the design and human computer interaction community to this research topic. Yet, that there are diverse challenges that limit the development and implementation of on skin interfaces in real life context. It is still very difficult to develop on skin interface systems that are robust enough to be deployed and scale up to mass production and the consumer market. Furthermore, some of the existing design principles for user interfaces must be questioned and adjusted before being applied to the design of on skin interfaces, as these do not account for the unique physical and physiological characteristics. Furthermore, due to the integration of on skin interfaces into the human body, one interesting direction to explore the, the, the intrinsic advantages and differences over other type of interfaces is to address the potential association with the higher bodily self-consciousness, as suggested by Thierry et al. 2016. Such association might be possible by exploring the on-skin interface's capability of eliciting the feeling of body ownership through on-skin feedback as an illusory bodily continuity mechanism. To start our first-person perspective approach, we develop a low-fi prototype of honest skin interfaces. For this, we made the skin stickers to manually track daily habits such as training execution or water intake. The idea was to explore ways of visualizing dynamic personal data on the body. As a first-person perspective exercise, we gain insights on the social and personal implications of displaying data on the skin. People were intrigued by the purpose of the stickers, recurrently asking about their meaning or purpose. We related this to the following factor. The stickers were located on visible, uncovered and meaning meaningful body spots, such as the forearms and wrist. Unlike traditional tattoos, these had extremely vivid colors, creating a high contrast with the skin tone. The, graphic, the graphics change over time, introducing new shapes, patterns and colors and did not represent data in a literal fashion. Making public and constantly visible self-related self data um, such as training habits and water intake increased the, the awareness on those specific bodily topics. We also conducted a co-creation session with a tattoo artist and a client. Being part of this design and realization process we better grasp the intimacy a tattoo represents for both the tattoo artist and the client. Through this immersion, we learned that the skin is a very delicate, valuable, and sensible material that must be treated with care and precaution. Placing elements of the skin goes beyond wearability factors, and it entails a very intimate perception and interaction with these elements. People might not want to place anything on their skin, but elements with meaningful and actual value for themselves. As part of our exploration, we contextualize our project within recreational running as an interesting case study for on-skin interfaces applications. This due to the, po the popularity of running related wearable devices together with the opportunities on-skin interfaces represent for this market. For this, we developed a simple but effective wearable system to monitor running technique and display new impact on the body of the user. While interesting to gain knowledge and insight on the topic, this low fidelity on a skin interface did not fully feel like a skin-like interface but a wearable device. The materiality and feedback mechanisms implemented in on a skin interfaces must resemble organic and bodily principles that allow them to blend into the human body. Another insight was that on a skin interfaces might implement more than one feedback modality and rely on more than one sense to overcome the accessibility limitations inherent to the shape of the body and on body location. 
According to our initial theoretical approach and early prototypes and first-person perspective approach, we defined four initial design principles to frame our process and future explore explorations as follow. Meaningfulness and privacy. As the skin can be considered as a public interface, uh, when designing on skin interfaces, access to the personal related information to the people in the vicinity must be restricted while being understandable and meaningful for the user themselves. While open for interpretation, on skin interfaces must keep the actual meaning private only, fully understandable for the user who wears it. Accessibility and placement. Unlike conventional wearable devices, on skin interfaces must be easy to understand and reach by the user, as the skin offers a myriad of body location to install on skin interfaces for in situ data representation, access and reachability must not be compromised. Skin skinship, translating the properties of the skin, reactions such as skin bruises could enable on skin interfaces to blend and be fully integrated within the human body. To be able to blend with the human body and to elicit an illusory feeling of body continuity on skin interfaces must mimic the appearance, feeling, behavior and sensual and physical properties of the human skin. Bodily relatedness. Imagine a wearable interface using artificial sweating to provide feedback and bodily related information to the users. This might open opportunities for richer and more intuitive interaction modalities. On skin interfaces must resemble and be inspired by the human body and its amazing sensing capabilities, responsive materials and advanced organic mechanisms that offer intuitive, embodied, and efficient feedback experiences and interactions. Using our initial design principles, we ideated to design on a skin interfaces able to represent biofeedback by mimicking bodily feedback mechanisms. This helped us to visualize possible shapes and relevant body locations of the on a skin interfaces to be developed in the process. Following our insights and ideas, we explored different materials, shapes, and feedback modalities. For instance, we created a thermochromic patch that delivered visual and haptic feedback in the form of an itchy sensation. Similar to the findings of Paul and Hornbayek 2018, the tickling sensation does a good job resembling a skin and body's own dynamic feedback mechanisms. Yet, there are several limitations in terms of usability and safety. Sweat of water could either damage the components or alter their electrical properties. This could lead to major skin irritations and discomfort. It also requires a substantial power supply to work properly, limiting its use in the context of recreational running. We also created hydrochromic patches to mimic the color changing of the skin and the sweat as an effective, natural and powerful feedback mechanism. This type of feedback mechanism could be implemented as an early warning system to alert runners of potential bodily damage or injury caused by, for instance, excessive effort or physical stress. During our test, fluid were perceived as a very unconventional feedback mechanism for an artificial system, hence as a more organic way to represent bodily related data. Following our explorations, we further developed a patch using fluids and color changing patterns. This patch was designed to be installed close to the knee of a runner. Was the impact detected by sensors in the sole of the shoe was too high, the, part, the patch started changing its color and getting wet, representing a wound or a blister on the body. This patch was tested during a full marathon event. It exhibited the potential to be used by recreational runners, ideally running shorter distances. Although we used the system to monitor and represent foot strike related information on skin interfaces, are versatile devices that can easily be placed and accommodated on any spot on the skin and body shape. Hence, on, a, on a skin interfaces have the potential to be implemented in different sports scenarios and display any type of context specific information. Finally, we reflected on the initial design principles and reformulated them according to the insights and learning we got through our prototyping journey as follow. Meaningful and privacy became two different uh, principles. Meaningfulness, 
means the skin not only protects us from the environment, but also defines our identity and contact with the outside world. As we learn from the tattooing exercise and align with the work from you at all, and with Tana at all, the design of, of on a skin interfaces most facilitate the customization and representation of meaningful and on body information according to the cultural values, social factors, and personal taste of individuals. Privacy means considering the skin as a public interface has several design implications. As we experienced, it is common for people to hide an encrypted meaning in their tattoos. As tattoos often represent personal experiences or intimate information, they are rarely literal representations of the meaning they contain. We propose to approach the privacy component of an skin interfaces in the same fashion. As suggested by you et al., the social and public perception of using on skin interfaces potentially determines the user acceptance of this technology. The implication of on skin interfaces in terms of privacy should of course be considered according to the context of implementation. The cultural and social dynamics might influence the acceptance, interpretation, and use. Location. As the skin offers a wide range of body locations where the on skin interfaces can be placed, using feedback and representation modalities that rely on more than one sense is crucial for successful on skin interfaces. As we learn from our running related activities, the access to the feedback and information delivered by on skin interfaces systems must be fluent, clear, and consistent. Furthermore, unlike the privacy, the location might be influenced by cultural, social, and personal factors that must be considered before starting the design of on skin interfaces. Some people would prefer to place on skin interfaces in body spots that are not covered by clothing, yet they differ across cultural backgrounds. In this sense, a balance between usability, properties, and contextual factors is essential. Skin, skinship, and body rela relatedness. At these two principles define the overall purpose, materiality, and execution of the on skin interfaces, we propose to place them at a higher level within the design process. These represent the core values and differentiation factors between on skin interfaces and conventional wearable devices. We highlight the importance of focusing the design of on skin interfaces on the effort of resembling bodily on processes and structures. For instance, Rodiger et al. intended to mimic uh, user interfaces gestures on the skin. While this is a meaningful contribution, our intention is different. We aim to contribute to the augmentation of the human body by using its intrinsic properties and qualities. Thank you very much for your attention. We hope you enjoyed this presentation. For more information, go to the paper, go to the pictorial. We are sure you will enjoy it. See you.